All right. Hi, Michael. How are you today? Good. And you? I'm doing pretty well. So I'm Garrett. I'm from the Community Writing Center and I'm a student at SVSU and I'm going to ask you three questions for the art around the city trail. Um, so to start, what inspired you for your piece that's going into this exhibit? Oh, okay. So for my art around the city trail, uh, I went to Italy in 2018 and uh, part of my trip, the starting part of it was in Naples uh, and then I went to Pompeii from there. And uh, the photo that I took, it's, it's, it started with a, a Samsung phone is actually what I had back then. Uh, and I shot a photo in the ruins in Pompeii. So I went to Pompeii and I went two days to the ruins. So uh, I shot scenes all around Pompeii, anything from you know, different ruins to textures as I walked through the, the ruins. And this photo is kind of a combination of, of several things and uh, primarily the one ruin that I took the photo of, as well as um, the textures that I overlaid over top of it and blended through. And then from there, I kind of made it a mixed media and I painted on top of it with different metallic paints. So that's how I did the, the artwork for the art around the trail piece. Okay, and then that sounds pretty cool actually. Um, what is a typical day in your studio like? Where do you like to work? Well. See, that's the cool thing is I have a, a an, an Olympus camera and it's a pro lens camera, expensive lenses and everything, but I got this iPhone and uh, it takes wonderful pictures. It's not perfect, but it takes great photos. So my studio is kind of like, my phone is with me no matter where I am, whether I'm in Italy, whether I'm taking the trash to the curb, you know, cause there might be a leaf on the ground that's really cool. You know, art is everywhere. So inspiration is everywhere. So. Uh, my studio is is my world around me, as well as the room I'm in now where I have a, a printer, and then I print the pieces and then I take them into the living room and I listen to music and I and I work on the pieces out there. So that's kind of my, um, my studio, it kind of exists in my home. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good answer for that. Um, so for the last question, what made you work in the medium that you do today? Sure, it's kind of a process. I mean, I, I found photography because I like to go see live music and I, and I was inspired by live music and they used to years ago, let you take your camera in and, and they do still, I mean, people take phones in, you know, but uh, a lot of times they say no disconnecting lenses, no pro lenses. But um, one of the things that inspired me about this medium is that, is that the iPhone um, has all the applications right in the phone. Uh, everything I need is right here. It's with me all the time. So uh, I started taking photos with the iPhone uh, out of convenience and it was always with me, you know? And so uh, I can print You'll from my phone. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. <laughs> and I bumped my phone. It said I need to unlock it. But anyway, uh, I print right from my phone. I use all the applications for editing the photos in my phone and I print right from my phone to my printer. Uh, it can print through through the uh, Wi-Fi. So uh, mm -hmm. it's really great because everything I need uh, is right there. And then uh, I have a friend of mine who's a working artist. He owns a gallery in Massachusetts and it got closed down during COVID. And he started to see my photos and he would say, you know, maybe you shouldn't, uh, you know, you should print larger. And I was trying to tell him, look, I'm trying to make a living doing this. Uh, I lost my job in the pandemic and I'm trying to like find a way to make my way with my art. And I have a printer that I can do this and I can watch my quality. So for now I'm printing 11 by 17 sheets, 11 mm -hmm. by 14 image to go in a 16 by 20 mat and frame. So it's, I can do a 20 by 40 or whatever size large print if someone wants it, but it'll take time to produce it. So he would say things like, well, what if you did this? Or what if you did that? And one of the things was, have you ever used these metallic print, these metallic inks? And he'd send me a link of where to get them. So I would get them and play with them. He also did this thing with me with the gold foil uh, leafing, which is like gilding. And uh, he said, have you ever done this? I used to have my kids do this. And he said, it's really easy. You get a sizing material. It's kind of a, a clear, transparent material that you paint on the work. And then you sprinkle the gold leafing on it. And then you let it dry and you brush it off. And so as he was giving me these suggestions, he knew what he was doing. He was inspiring me. And uh, so, you know, uh, one of the things that happened with this process was I love photography, but I feel that sometimes some people, and I use that term loosely, uh, they devalue it as a true art form. 
they don't see it as as true art so i wanted to find a way to make it elevate a little bit to make it a one of a kind thing and you know they they're unique to me so when i paint on top of them with these different things whether it's using gold leafing whether it's the acrylics that i get because i found some pearlescent acrylics uh, from a company and they make the piece glow you know you paint them on and you build up color and layers of color so uh, for me using acrylics was always kind of tough um because they dry really quick and uh i it was like painting with plastic you know to me it was drying it was hard i loved oils but they're so messy and they're harder to clean up and you know so i i i found a way to make this medium work for me mm -hmm. i took my photos i would see the colors in the photos and i would start with a darker color first and i would build on top of what was already there in the image it was kind of like an underpainting was already there so I would go from there and build up to the lighter colors and in the process using a medium to keep the, the acrylic paint moist longer, uh, it also gives it a transparent quality too. So I was getting layers of glazing. And uh, I think that influenced me. I went to London uh, in 2019 for a vacation and I saw that there was a Vincent Van Gogh exhibition at the Tate Britain and I wanted to go see that. So in the morning I went to that exhibition and I was blown away by his work. And uh, when I was a little kid, I used to watch my neighbor's grandfather paint with a palette knife in his yard next door. And he was from Cuba. And he did these palette paintings with a knife in the yard of Miami beach scenes. And I was fascinated by that. I must have been three years old. So between that and the Van Gogh, you know, the starry night, the swirling colors, the wide brush strokes, I somehow kind of adapted that style to acrylics. And that kind of added to my whole, you know, the niche that I found with this, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that afternoon too, I went um, from the Tate Britain, there was another exhibition of another artist. Um, now he's an artist to me because he works in film though. And uh, he had films like uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey, Full Metal Jacket, uh, you know, and it, it was Stanley Kubrick. There was an exhibition of Stanley Kubrick's films and all of the things that he used and they're everything from artists renderings to his scripts to different things they used in the movies so all of that deeply influenced me somewhere on a subliminal level and mm -hmm. they all came together in my style that has been building layers of color on top of my photography which i'm sure it's done out there but i don't see it being widely done so i've kind of developed a niche for my work and yeah, it, that's and in the process. So that's and it was my friend in Massachusetts that did it. You know, he kind of mm -hmm. slowly inspired me. And we do a lot of work that's similar in some ways. So, you know, we bounced ideas off of each other. That's the thing with working with other artists is it's creative, mm -hmm. it's fun, and and there's enough for everybody out there. And there's everyone's different. Everyone has an ability in some way. And you know, I think I kind of found a niche for me. So that's, yeah. that's what, that's how I do it. Yeah, that's very cool. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. And it was a pleasure to hear you talk about your art. Thanks. You too, Garrett. Thank you so yep. much. Have a good day. Right. You too. Bye now.